In Power Director 17, let's teach you how to make a thumbnail for YouTube videos. A lot of people that watch my tutorials, I've noticed, have their own YouTube channels. So this is why I've decided to make this tutorial. And I've noticed most people are not making them. Making thumbnails for YouTube really is easy. It's not that hard. Now, there is a little bit of a learning curve but there really isn't that much of a learning curve. So let's say I was using this video and this was my video I was gonna upload to YouTube. I've got a video of a buffalo. I mean, he's sitting there, he's laying there in the grass, beautiful. But let's say I want this. So what I'm gonna do is over here in PowerDirector 17, you'll see where it has this camera that says take a snapshot. You're going to click that camera now when you do remember where it's going to save that image that's important because we're going to use another program to go get that image so once you click that camera it's going to save the image in a folder someplace like i said remember where it is and it will also put it up in here now you're going to need a free program why buy it? There's a program that you can get at getpaint.net. I'll have the link in the bottom and you can download it. If you want to support the program, you can actually buy it on Windows 10's website. So I'll click on getpaint.net here where it says download and you'll see that there. And I'll click that and it takes me here. Now you'll notice here's where it says free and paid. So if you want to pay for it, you can go here or you can get it free here. I simply click this icon for download and up in the top right is where you download the program. And now you have yourself a paint program. Now remember in PowerDirector 17, I had you click the camera which created us a large thumbnail. This is too big, but we're going to fix that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves the proper thumbnail size by going to File and New. Now remember, YouTube's website said we need a thumbnail that's 1250 by 720. And that's all we're going to type in that box. That's it. We could up our resolution a bit, but for the beginner, we're only going to work in these two boxes. This is good enough for us. And that's all we're going to type. And then we're going to say, OK. Boom. This has created our thumbnail. That's the canvas we're working in. That is the size that we need for YouTube to have a thumbnail. So at the top here, you're going to notice there are two boxes. The one that's selected is the one we're working in. But I want to get back to my Buffalo picture, which is the one I brought in. And by clicking there, I bring it back. But this is too big. So I'm going to click image at the top. And I'm going to shrink this down. I'm going to say resize. Really easy. OK. I'm going to shrink it down by percentage. I'm going to say uh, 90, because it's only going to take 10% off of it. I'm not going to touch anything else. And I'm going to say OK. It actually shrunk. The image down. Now I can go here and click edit and click copy or I can click control C a couple times. It's up to you what you want to do. So once I have this copied I can now use it wherever I choose. So back up to the top remember we created the thumbnail size for YouTube we're gonna click on that and go back to our canvas. So now we're back here. At the top here I'm gonna go edit and I'm going to say paste into new layer. So that is now going to paste the picture of the buffalo I just copied over to here. I always say keep campus size. So there we have it. We have the buffalo, but he's kind of hanging off the edge. You see that? Control Z, Control Z, bring it back. Let's do it again. Let's paste his new layer. And this time, let's expand it. 
So you see now it's kind of in there and it's kind of sitting in the whole box. But I never do that. So again, edit, paste into new layer, and I say keep canvas size. Now, if my box is too big, and my, I really want the whole buffalo in there, if I really want that, then what I have to do is hit Control Z or Control Z, get rid of it. At the top, go back to my buffalo and resize it again. Edit. Sorry, image, and then we're going to resize. And I guess I'll take it down, I don't know, I'll say 80 this time. We'll take it down another 20%. Control C to copy. So this way I've got a copy of it. Over to the new thumbnail size I created of our palette. And then I'm going to say edit, paste into new layer. And I said keep canvas size. Now notice the buffalo is actually fitting in there which is kind of cool. Okay? Okay, so we got that inside our canvas. Now we want text. Well, over here on the left, there's a button that says text. Fairly easy. Click. And just click anywhere inside here. And you'll notice, once we type our words, over here you'll see like a square with a arrows. We can move the text around by this way and put it where we want. Now at the same time, I may not like that color. Down here on the left, you'll see a color palette. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Make sure you're on primary. You can also use the drop down box to make sure you're on primary. And then we just got to move this around to whatever color we want. I can use these down here and just click the automatic colors that are already there or I can grab the dot in the palette and move it around to whatever color I want. Nice and easy. But let's say I want great at the top and I want video below. Well you'll notice we have the cursor flash in there. I can simply use my arrow keys to bring it back one, hit enter, hit space, now I've created that type of look is what I've done. And again, if I want to move it around to someplace else, I simply grab this and put it where I want. Really, really easy. Now, you can get real fancy with this and you can really mess around. So let me back all this up for you. And we got a white palette there. Down here, I've got some shapes. If I click the shapes, the top is where I can select a whole bunch of stuff. So I can select, you know, rectangles, circles, like if I want to do circles, for example, um, I could just, just draw a circle on here in my palette. You know, I can change the colors to whatever I want by selecting the secondary or the primary. The secondary is what fills it. The primary is what draws the line. I've also got other things I can choose from here, from dashes to horizontal lines. We can get pretty crazy here, you know, but everything is done up here. When I'm finished, I just simply click finish and I'm done. If I want, I can click, for example, if I want something different, like a basic rectangle. I could even draw myself a rectangle box here I could draw my one here. I can get all fancy with my box if I choose to do what I want. And again, if you make a mistake and you don't like it, just hit Control Z, Control Z. And now you can get all crazy the way you want. Uh, keep canvas size. And this really is up to you how you want to do things and you'll notice I'm stretching the picture I'm kind of moving around all with a simple paint program and it's just a matter of sitting here and playing with it now I know you're probably thinking oh yeah he makes it look easy it truly is easy it really is 
I mean, I've showed you working within two little windows, as you've seen at the top, after we created our thumbnail size, and then I showed you a few of these. Now, if you want to get more creative in this paint program, all you have to do is search Get Paint, whatever tutorial you're looking for. When you're done with your thumbnail and you're happy with it, you're actually going to click File and Save As is what you're going to click. File, Save As. In the second drop-down box, you're going to select PNG and save it. And that is what you're going to upload to YouTube. So while your video is actually uploading on YouTube, there is actually a section there, a little lower to the bottom, as it begins to upload where you can select your thumbnail. Learn how to make thumbnails for your videos. If you don't, you're losing subscribers. You're lo people just ain't catching up. This pops. When it comes up in the search, when it comes up on the side, you need every advantage you can take to get people to watch your video. So taking a quick snapshot of your video in PowerDirector 17, coming over to Get Paint, create the canvas you're going to work on, and then go from there is a good place to start. And I'm sure you're going to get a lot more creative within Get Paint as time goes on. But you have to start off and get past the learning curve. Watch my video a couple times, see if you get the hang of it. Let me know in the comments if it makes sense to you, or let me know in the comments if it doesn't make sense to you, and I'll see if I can make something even maybe easier for you. At any rate, guys, start making thumbnails for your YouTube videos, and I'll catch you on the next one.